I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I'm beat. I'm tired. I'm worn down. It's about 6.30. I could go to bed right now. Woke up at like 6.30. Um, headed out for our game. And uh, I'll tell you about it. We had five girls show up. We need seven to play. So the other team gave us two players. It was very nice of them. It was about what I expected. I mean, with that early of a game, we were away. Um, so, you know, it was about what I expected. Um, what was the game like? Um, what did I see? What did I learn? And what can I bring to you guys that I think might be useful information? Well, the first thing is practice is a lot different from games. <laughs> That's what I'll tell you first. Um, in practice, you have the ability to just stop and re reteach something or give the details in a game there's no time to rest and so especially when you're down players like I was today and then the other team gave us you know two players that we'd never played with we didn't know we weren't comfortable with excuse me it was a big challenge um, but yeah so we we ended up getting beat five to two or six to two um, so we did score twice and we did a lot of good things. Now, the other team had more, had twice as many players as me. They were, they were fresh. They were clearly had had more practice than us. But the most important thing that I learned from today is how to not give up, how to stay positive, how to invigorate your players, how to motivate them. Uh, just the, the standard stuff that I've talked about in the past. Because in this situation it's very easy to just lay down and say hey we were down players you know we didn't deserve to win or we had no business winning anyways so you know there's no real reason to put in any effort we were going to lose no matter what but you know in that moment i just decided that when i saw i was going to try to motivate and do the little things that um, would give them a reward of some sort. So, uh, for example, there was one girl who was a little down on herself. She was tired. She was whatever. Um, but I consistently delivered, you know, motivation in the form of just small passes. Okay, can we get it from the goalie to half? Can we get it up the sideline? To, can we make one pass, you know? And that, that girl was able to make two passes that made our goals happen. So, um... I think that in another world, if I didn't, if I just kind of laid down and let them do their thing, I don't know if any of that would have happened. So just being able to score twice was a success in my eyes. And the more successful thing is they did stay positive. And why they stayed positive, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're, young, they're young girls, you know. I think they have a kind of a natural affinity to um, be energized and want to be out there running. But... They were tired, you know, and, and, and it wasn't easy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just finding ways to, to stay motivated. Um, how did I motivate them in the game? Um, I don't even know about the motivation. Let's move on from that. Um, what I learned about the game was uh, how to micromanage a little bit more um, in a good way, right? Because, yes, they did end up clumping quite a bit. They did have a lot of inefficiency and they weren't very organized and there's really no way to get past that I think with the younger age groups when you're in the position I was in like I I, I can't imagine a world where anybody could have come in and made that a win today it just not it's not in the cards for that situation so um, we focused on or what I did with micromanagement and I'm sorry for just bleh, I'm just kind of everywhere I it's just been a long day it's been one of those days um, is directing them towards specific places and specific types of play, a specific pass of this specific player in this specific area, right? So rather than saying, up the sideline, go, I say, take the ball, pass it to player X, okay? Player X, go up the sideline, look for player Y, you know? And there was a couple times where that worked out. Um, and so I want to say that I am really thankful in a way for the challenge of this age group because I believe when I go to the next level, 
Um, it's going to help me in terms of just my overall understanding of how players want to be managed or how they should be managed um, in terms of the communication because I think that's as you move into different age groups different areas of expertise you know the the types of motivation you need to give the players is going to differ quite a bit the types of management you need to do the players is going to differ quite a bit um, both in practice and in games and so I think starting out on a level of where you have to micromanage everything is a better place to start than not micromanaging everything because then when you go to the higher level you can you can cut it off rather than never having done it in the first place so you don't know how to add it um, but yeah I mean we had we had a good time you know the players I, I I really appreciated the parents you know you could tell that they were they weren't disappointed they came over and they said you know good job because I stayed up on my feet I, I stayed talking I stayed communicating I fist bumped the players at every pause I told them good job positive reinforcement um, and I think that's another thing at this age level is you, if as a coach, if you lose your energy, your team loses its energy so quickly. There's no, I don't think there's really any way to overcome a poor coach at this level. Um, I mean, of course, of course, raw talent is, is probably just going to be the determining factor in most of these games because um, the players, there's just a gap that exists in, in a lot of the players' experience levels and confidence levels, etc. But... Um, I, I could, there were, there were maybe two or three moments where I, I got a little discouraged or not even discouraged, but low energy and I could just see the whole thing falling apart. But when I came back and I, I, I pulled my voice back up, um, and, and stayed positive, I think they stayed positive and none of the girls after the game were discouraged. They all, they all seemed, I don't know if I could call it happy, but they seemed content. They seemed you know, just happy to be out there, I guess. Um, so that's about it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And we got our next practice on Monday. I hope to do a, a video there of, well, let, let, we could talk about that now is what am I going to work on in the next practice? Um, we didn't really have much offsides to work on because we weren't on the offensive end of the <laughs> playing field much, but, um, we had some good throw-ins. We didn't mess up any of our throw-ins. Um, but I think I'm going to work on the goalie skills. Like, we didn't really know what a goalie could do, that they could bring it out to the 18. Could they throw it? Could they punt it? Um, we don't understand build-out lines. All these little things. But it's just tough because I'd rather focus on the core fundamental skills than these little nitty-gritty things because they don't really seem that receptive to them in practice. They... There's certain drills that energize them and certain things that just bore them. And when they're bored, they're not learning anything no matter what I'm saying. So trying to find a way maybe to get them motivated in those situations. Uh, and like I said in the other video, selling them on the idea. Uh, but that if they learn these things, you know, we're going to be more successful. And I apologize for all the auto noise. But um, yeah, other than that, um, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. And God bless.